Pyeongwon refers to the endless plains far and wide. The progress line of Pyeongwon Pumse that represents the human will to control the body and mind, to protect the peaceful plains from domination and pillage, is the character Il, which means one. We will now take a look at the key moves of Pyeongwon Pumse. Pyeongwon Pumse consists of seven key moves, namely, Gyopsong Junbi Jase. Palgumchi Oryochigi. Godoro Orgul Yopmaki. Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi. Mong Echigi. Hecho Santulmaki and Moa Sogi. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Pyeongwon Pumse. Gyopson Junbi Jase is a preparation posture in which both arms straighten from Moa Sogi. The left hand is placed over the back of the right hand in the shape of a cross. The hands should be slightly apart from the body in front of the lower abdomen, with the palm of the left hand placed over the back of the right hand in the shape of a cross. Prepare the fingertips of both hands together, and your fingers should not be spread apart. Pargumchi Oryochigi is a technique to strike upward using the elbow. The basic target is an opponent's chin, but it can also be used to strike the solar plexus, chest, and other areas. When performing the move, make sufficient use of the twisting of your torso with your elbow close to your body. Raise your fist to reduce resistance from your muscles and maintain a sufficient range of movement. Be careful not to strengthen the arm to strike upward. Godoro Orgul Yopmaki starts with the Chagan Dojogui posture. The blocking arm should pass the face and the elbow and placed to your side level with your philtrum. Your elbow should straighten and be perpendicular to the ground. The assisting arm should be parallel to the ground at chest height, and the space between your body and arm should be about one raised fist length. The fist on the assisting arm should not move outside the body. The blocking arm should not tilt front, back, left, right. Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi is a technique to pull an opponent with one hand and strike their face in the philtrum or chin forward from the inside using the other back fist. It can also be used to attack other areas depending on the situation. The back fist is placed in front of the philtrum, and it should not be a strike from the outside in, like mejumok anchigi. Mongechigi is a technique used to attack both sides using the elbow by crossing your arms above and below in front of the chest. Your back fist must face upward, and the back of your two hammer fists should lightly touch your chest, your arms must be parallel. 
When performing mongechigi, be careful not to let your elbows move back and make sure your chest is not open. Hecho santomaki is a technique where your arms cross at the lower abdomen and move your sides horizontally in front of your face to perform orgu hechomaki with your inner wrist. Your arms should be at the philtrum level and perpendicular to the ground. Be careful not to let the wrist bend and the blocking arm must not tilt front, back, left, right. Moasogi is a posture where the back of the foot blades are adjacent to each other and the knees are straightened and aligned to the center line. Your eyes should be directed forward and be careful not to let space exist between your feet. These are the seven key moves of Pyongwan Pumse. We will now look at the moves in succession connecting each move. The key moves of Pyongwan first part consist of Gyopsong Jumbi. Are Hechomaki. Tongmilgi. And Oren Solna Aremaki. There are no cautions you should be aware of in Pyongwan first part. We will now practice the moves of Pyongwan first part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Pyongwan's second part consist of Wen Sonar Pakatmaki, Oren Palkunchi Oryochigi, Oren Apchagi, Wen Foot Mondora Yopchagi, Oren Sonar Godoro Maki, Oren Sonar Godoro Aremaki, and Oren Anparmok Godoro Olgur Yopmaki. When performing Wen Sonar Pakatmaki, move your center to the right foot and at the same time twist the heel backward and set your left foot a bit to the outside and perform Oren Dikubi Sonar Pakatmaki. When performing Oren Pargumchi Oryochigi, set your left foot forward about one and a half steps, then perform Pargumchi Oryochigi. Your left ball should touch the ground first. Then finish the move along with a breath the moment your heel touches the ground. When performing Aptagi, the heel of the supporting foot should not twist inward excessively. If the foot is twisted excessively inward, the force is dispersed, weakens the force transferred forward, or results in loss of balance. When performing Mondora Yaptagi, the right leg that kicked forward should pass the left foot slightly and set so the ball touches the ground. The heel of the foot that kicked forward should point in the direction of the kick. Next, move your center to the right leg to create a central axis. Pass the left foot over the right knee. Turn the upper body toward the direction of the kick, then perform yopchagi. Apchagi, followed by mondora yopchagi, must connect naturally in a skillful manner. You may lose balance if the kicking foot moves too far away from the supporting foot. If the hips fall back, or the heel of the supporting foot fall back rather than point in the direction of the kick when performing yoptagi, the force transferred forward weakens, or the balance may be disrupted. Pay attention to the direction the heel of the supporting foot points toward. After performing Mondora Yopchagi, Bend your knee and raise the upper body at the same time to perform Sonar Godoromaki. Connect all the moves from Oren Apchagi to Mondora Yapchagi and Sonar Godoromaki without disconnect. 
When performing Oden Sonna Godoromaki, draw a big circle over your head with your arms, then perform Sonna Godoro Aremaki. When performing Oden Anparmo Godoro Orgu Yokmaki, raise the right foot slightly from the Wendikubi posture. Set it as parallel to the left foot on the ground, then block. Cautions for Pyongwan's second part. Taking a closer look. Move and set your left foot when performing Wen Sonar Pakanmaki. When transitioning from Duikubi to Apgubi posture during Oren Pargub Oryochigi, be careful not to let your feet completely touch the ground at the same time. When performing Mondora Yapchagi, be mindful that the move shouldn't halt. The foot performing the yopchagi should not pass under the knee of the supporting leg. Do a folding kick. When performing sonna godoro aremaki during sonna godoro maki, the position of your head must not change. When performing oren anparmo godoro orgu yopmaki, the assisting fist should not move outside the body. Be careful not to let the blocking arm tilt. We will now practice the moves of Pyongwan's second part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Pyongwan's third part consist of Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi. Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi. Mong Echigi. Hecho Santurmaki. Gumgang Maki. Wen Chagun Dojogui. Oren Yopchagi. Wen Palkumchi Oryochigi. Wen Apchagi. Oren Foot Mondora Yopchagi. Wen Sonar Godoro Maki. When sona godoro aremaki, and when anparmok godoro orgul yopmaki. We will explain the dangyo dungjumok apchigi move first. First, open the right hand and naturally straighten the arm forward. Then pull the right fist along with the torso and move the right foot so it touches the left knee. This is a preparatory posture to dodge an opponent's attack of the lower body and repeat the Jitjigi attack. All these moves must be performed simultaneously. Remember the moves explained previously. Perform the preparatory moves. When the preparatory move is complete, pull the right hand and connect with Dungjumok Apchigi. Pull an opponent with the left hand. At the same time, perform jichiki with the right foot and attack your opponent's face with the back of your right fist. Shout at this time and let your right elbow lightly touch the back of your left hand from above. When performing dangyo dungjumok apchigi with the left hand, pull the left hand back, lightly straighten the right fist forward and at the same time pull back. Strike an opponent's face with the back of your left fist. Do not perform jichigi at this point. For mongechigi, perform koasogi by crossing your left foot in front of your right foot. Cross your left arm over your right arm in front of your chest, then strike both sides with your elbows. Pull your right foot while performing gumgangmaki. Tagen Dojogui is a move connected to Gungan Maki. Elevation of the stance should be maintained. Your eyes should point in the direction of progress. Oren Yoptagi is performed from Hakdari Sogi while maintaining Tagen Dojogui. When performing Wen Palgumchi Oryochigi, complete the move the moment the right heel touches the ground. When performing Oren Foot Mondora Yopchagi, 
the left kicking foot passes the right foot slightly and sat with the ball touching the ground. The heel of the kicking foot points in the direction of the kick. Move your center to the left foot and create a central axis. Move the right foot past the left knee. Turn your upper body in the direction of the kick, then perform yoptagi. Aptagi and Mondora Yoptagi should be performed in succession. After Mondora Yoptagi, fold the knee of the kicking leg while raising your upper body to connect to Sonnar Godoromaki. When performing Sonnar Godoro Aremaki, complete the move by drawing a big circle above your head with your arms. The Wen Godoro Orgu Yopmaki is completed by raising the left foot slightly from the Oren Dikubi and setting it parallel with the right foot. Cautions for Pyongwan Third Part Taking a Closer Look When performing Dangyo Dungju Mok Apchigi, the assisting knee should not bend. Be careful not to let it move outside like Meju Mok Anchigi. When performing Dangyo Dungju Mok Apchigi with the left hand, do not perform Jichiki and do not open your hand. Do not perform Gumgang Maki slowly. When performing Tagen Dojogui, pay attention to maintaining your balance. Aptagi and Mondora Yoptagi, Sonna Godoro Momtong Maki, should all be performed in succession. As already mentioned in Pyongwan second part, the position of the head must not change when performing Sonar Godoro Aremaki during the Sonar Godoro Maki move. When performing Anparmo Godoro Orgu Yopmaki, the fist of the assisting arm must move outside the body. The blocking arm should not tilt. We will now practice the moves of Pyongwan third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Pyongwan fourth part consist of Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi, Dangyo Dungjumok Apchigi, Mong Echigi, Hecho Santelmaki, Gumgang Maki, Orun Chagun Doljogi, Wen Yopchagi, and Orun Palkunchi Pyojokchigi. As we did for the first move of Pyongwan third part, we will first explain the preparatory move for the Dangyo Dungju Mok Apchigi. Open your right hand and naturally straighten your arm. Pull your left fist back along the torso and slightly touch your right knee with your left foot. All these moves should be performed simultaneously. Let's now perform the preparatory move we previously explained independently. When performing Tangyo Dungju Mok Apchigi, pull the left arm back, lightly open the right fist moving forward while striking the opponent's face with the left back fist. When performing Tangyo Dungju Mok Apchigi with the right hand afterwards, Pull the right arm back and lightly straighten the left fist moving forward while striking an opponent's face with the right back fist. Do not perform jichiki at this time. For mongechigi, perform goasogi by crossing your right foot in front of your left foot. Cross your right arm over the left in front of your chest, then strike both sides with your elbows. Pull the left foot and at the same time perform Gungam Maki. Tagen Dojogui is a move connected to Gungang Maki. 
Maintain your stance, and your eyes should point in the direction of progress. Then connect to Wen Yopchagi while maintaining Chagan Doljogui in the Hakdari Sogi posture. For the following move, keep your left arm straight as if performing Mejumok Pakachigi, and keep your arm and leg in a parallel alignment. When performing Oren Palgumchi Pyojokchigi, twist your upper body about 45 degrees and strike the palm of your left hand with your right elbow. Your target should level with the solar plexus and you should utilize the torque of your torso as much as possible. When performing Palgumchi Pyojokchigi at the torso level, it should take the form of a raised fist in order to minimize stress on muscles and tension in the shoulders, making it possible to strike fast and hard and making sufficient use of the upper body's range of movement. Cautions for Pyongwan fourth part. Taking a closer look. When performing a preparatory move for Dangyo Dungjungmok Apchigi, do not bend the knee of the supporting leg. When performing Dangyo Dungjungmok Apchigi, do not perform Mejumok Anchigi outside in. When performing Oren Dangyo Apchigi, do not perform Mejumok Anchigi outside in and be careful not to open the hand. Do not perform Jichiki at this point. When performing Tagen Dojogui, pay attention to maintaining your balance and quickly perform Gumgang Maki. When performing Wen Yopchagi, do not kick with the upper body below the back. Also, be careful not to let your hips fall backwards. When performing Oren Palgumchi Pyojokchigi, excessive twisting of the back may cause you to lose balance. Concentrate on the moves so you do not perform Palgumchigi on your fingers. We will now practice the moves of Pyongwan fourth part in succession while watching the video. This concludes the training for Pyongwan Pumse. We will take another look at the moves and master Pumse. We have looked at the key moves of Pyongwan Pumse and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. I hope this was a good opportunity for a reminder of the far and wide plains and the spirit of struggle to protect the peaceful foundations of life. We will see you again in the Shipjin Pumse video. Thanks for watching.